Hi everyone, in this video we will be looking at another method of comparing fractions. Let's as always do this with an example. Well, if you recall in our previous videos we had learned a method of comparing fractions and in that method what you did was to take the LCM of denominators and then convert each of these fractions into an equivalent fraction with the LCM as the denominator and by doing that you can determine which one of these fractions is greater or which one of these is smaller just by looking at the converted fractions but as this is a chapter on decimal fractions I would be using decimal fractions to solve this example so the first step is to convert all of these fractions into decimal fractions and how do you convert any fraction into a decimal fraction always solve that fraction to get its decimal equivalent so if I divide 2 by 5 I would get the decimal fraction equivalent of 2 by 5 to divide it by 5 so let's do that I have 2 I have to divide it by 5 so 2 cannot be divided by 5 so we take a point and I can add as many zeros as I want on the right hand side of 2 so 5 fours are 20 and here's the point 5 fours are 20 and the remainder is 0 so 2 by 5 is equal to 0 0.4 now let's solve 4 by 9 so I have to divide 4 by 9 and it cannot be divided so I take a point this becomes 40 9 fours are 36 so 9 times 4 is 36 again the remainder is 4 I can take as much as zeros I want so again 9 fours are 36 again the remainder is 4 so this goes on and 4 is recurring 4 by 9 is equal to 0 0.4444 and so on that is 4 is recurring now if I write these two numbers side by side 0 0.4 and 0 0.4444 4, 4. let's take up to three digits after the decimal point I can say that 0 0.4 is less than 0 0.4444 and 0 0.4 is nothing but 2 by 5 and 0 0.444 is 4 by 9 so you so naturally 4 by 9 is greater than 2 by 5 which of these following options is in ascending order so basically what you can do is you can find out the decimal fraction of each of these three numbers and then determine which one of them is greater than other so the decimal fraction of 5 by 7 is if I divide 5 by 7 you can just do it in your mind so it cannot be divided so we have 0 point so 7 times 7 is 49 and um, reminder is 1 so 7 times 1 is 7 you can always stop at two digits after the decimal point because we just have to determine which one of them is greater then we can divide 2 by 3 so 2 by 3 is 0 0.636 za 18 again the reminder is 2 so we have 66 six recurring then 1 by 2 we always know is 0 0.5 now which one of them is the smallest so 0 0.5 is less than 0 0.66 which is again less than 0 0.71 so this is 0 0.5 is 1 by 2, 0 0.66 is 2 by 3, 0 0.71 is 5 by 7. So this is the correct answer. 